uh welcome everybody uh georgiana here uh with cindy wang of satoshi's angels how are you doing today cindy hello josh uh thank you for having me i'm doing really great and josh you definitely have been working out last i time i see you on the youtube video you look a little bit fatter <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely been uh, taking uh, doing a lot of hiking. So, <laughs> so what? What? Uh, tell 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 the audience a little bit about yourself and, and what you do. Uh, okay, so my name is Cindy Wang. I've been in the crypto industry for four years, and first at HBTC. It is the first. Uh, Crypto Media in China that is co-founded by Ji Han Wu and another Chinese guy. He's a sci-fi writer. And then later one BTC forked into BCH and BTC. I joined Bitcoin.com, shilling for Bitcoin Cash. And now I am co-founder of Satoshi's Angels, focusing on the crypto education and content creation part. So Akani is working on the merchant adoption and com community meetup part. Excellent, excellent. So what what are you working on? Uh, you know these days in these early days of twenty twenty one. What is your focus on? Um. So this year we've been working to deliver what we had promised in our flip starter campaigns. Like we have been delivering Bitcoin Cash weekly news in multiple languages, and now we are I myself is working on a Bitcoin Cash education uh, education tutorial videos. I hope it can be released this year because uh, I I don't want Bitcoin Cash to miss this bull market. If these tutorial videos could be out. I think it can help Bitcoin Cash to attract some newbies. One hundred percent. So, uh, how many how many languages are you guys uh, publishing the news in now? And and I saw that you had uh, agreements in a couple different places to to distribute the news. Yes. Uh, Currently, we publish it in three languages: Chinese, English, and Japanese. So, in China, I publish it in mm -hmm. six media platforms. And uh, for Akani, he she would send the Japanese one and publish it on Coin Ataku. Cool, cool. So, what so far? What kind of um, reaction are you seeing? We've seen uh, people really, this weekly news is really popular because even Ji Han Wu asked me to send him uh, one piece of our weekly news so that he could keep updated what is going on in the Bitcoin Cash uh, community. And last week, we just uh, reached a partnership with Matrix Pod so that uh, Matrix Pod now also support us to publish this weekly news. I think we've been doing really great in this part. Awesome, awesome. So you mentioned Jihan Wu. Uh, how do you, you know he's been through a lot? Uh, you know over, over over the last while. You know just based on what you know those of us uh, you know in the in the West can see from news articles. Um, can you give us a little update on, um, and of course, you know, we're all very interested to see him active again in Bitcoin Cash. Um, can you give us a little update on what, he, you know, on the news around uh, uh, what's happening uh, with Jihan? Uh, I, I think it's the day before yesterday. You know, he updated his Twitter and said that he officially left the Bitman. So now he is focusing on the on his new company, Matrix Pods and Bit dot com. So he he explains uh his this year long disputes with his partner Mike Regan. Um, these two 
are both、mm-hmm. co-founders of Bitman, and Mike Richardson is more fond of artificial intelligence technology, and Zihan is more involved in the crypto industry, and he has been deeply、uh, involved in the Bitcoin scaling、uh, debate, and that is not good for an entrepreneur. So、uh, he just left Bitman, and Mike Richardson offered six hundred million. Dollars to buy his shares at Bitman. So now, uh, Antipo belong to Mike Rijan, and but these overseas farmers has been those overseas farming farmings belong to Ji Han Wu, and and last week Bitcoin Bit Bit dot com, Ji Han's new crypto exchange announced that, that they will launch these Bitcoin Cash perpetual swap options. So I think he still cares about Bitcoin Cash, but it's just that it's it's not good for him to publicly speak too much for the coin. And why is that? Do you think? Do you think it's because he attracts a lot of、um, a lot of,、um, for lack of a better word, hate、uh, or you know friction from、uh, people who like、uh, BTC better? Yeah, I、um, as a leader of Bitman, he has a lot of business disputes with these entrepreneurs in China. So these people don't like him, and he supported Bitcoin Cash so much when、uh, the coin is initially born, and that also made a lot of core people hate him. So <laughs> 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 I just feel sorry for him. Yeah. <laughs> He's had a he's had a rough time, but I think yeah we have to admire him for you know being so steadfast and following his principles. You know I think that's that's really, I mean that's that's so admirable uh, and and, the, uh, and also valuable. Yeah, the other thing is that I also feel part of the reason people hate him is because they they are envy of Ji Han. Just imagine this this Chinese guy. Who looks so so young and so little? <laughs> How come he could be so rich and powerful? <laughs> <laughs> Good things come in small packages, I guess. Right? <laughs> That's the、yeah. saying we have. Yeah. <laughs> so,、uh, so the Chinese community.、Um, you know, I was on、uh, WeChat a bunch last year talking with the Chinese community,、uh, asking about you know what what they're interested in,、um, what they want.、Um, where where do you think the Chinese Bitcoin Cash community is at? You know, how are they feeling about Bitcoin Cash? You know, what do they what do they want to see? Well, for one part, we are all very excited about. Or、uh, what's going on in the development ecosystem? Like we just had the Coin Party Hackathon, and we got we got to see thirty three thirty three new um projects built on Bitcoin Cash, like Swap dot Cash, SLP dot Cash. It, it's just a very exciting to let us see the potential of Bitcoin Cash. But on the other side. We all feel very upset about the price of Bitcoin Cash because Ethereum already hit its all-time high, BTC already hit its all-time high, but BCH is still at the bottom. So I see a lot of people complaining about the price every day. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's it's. I mean, I think essentially we're kind of right in a tie, you know, with a whole bunch of other coins for maybe fifth or sixth place on coin market cap. But it is, you know, indisputable that we seem to be falling behind now. What, what do you or what does the Chinese community think、um, that you know we need to do to to turn this around? What I know is that all of these Chinese people, they are calling、uh, big whales like Roger Ver, Ji Han Wu, and Mark Damaso. They are call- they all wish these big whales to pump the coin, but it's just impossible to pump a coin 
like Bitcoin Cash with such a high market cap, so it is out of everyone's capability. Hmm. You Although, need to push you harder, know, you're, George. You're a marketing. Wait, say that again. You need to shield say harder. Again? Keep shielding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're you're a marketing person too, you know, like I so I've been thinking, I mean, I've had my business plan out there for a while, hasn't really gotten traction, you know, it's really directed at, you know, how to to make a big splash, how to how to build, how to virally build some some momentum. But, you know, what what I do you have any ideas for how, you know, we can you know, how you know, cuz I've been thinking about you know, maybe we need like a really big project, uh, you know, a really big announcement, um, something really big, you know. Do you have any ideas on that? Um, well, I think it, is, it depends on two parts. First, the part is to build investors' confidence. Because we first had, uh, we experienced these two folks, and people all think Bitcoin Cash is so unstable. The good thing is that uh, all of us have reached agreement that there should be no more hard forks in 2021. So this is very good for to build people's confidence that uh, Bitcoin Cash is steadily progressing this year. The other part I think which is very important is we offer what people cares. We keep, keep track with the hot topics like DeFi and NFT. I know DeFi and AFT are very hot topics these days. So I think we should develop we should develop some pro some DeFi and AFT products on Bitcoin Cash. I think we, there is already a project called Enter the Sphere, which is actually the first Bitcoin Cash based uh, NFT project. I think it will help us to attract more users. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so, you know, what what other plans uh, does Satoshi's Angels have uh, going forward uh, for this year? You know, so you're doing the news, you're doing uh, some adoption um, campaigns. What else are you guys working on? Um, now we are building our, building more connections with angels in different areas. Uh, like in Thailand, we we are building strong connection with the Jaja, and now we re, we recruited a new angel in Canada, and also uh, we are supporting more Bitcoin Cash meetups in Vietnam, and we also had crypto one crypto uh, one zero one classes to educate blockchain and Bitcoin newbies. Another big thing we can expect for Satoshi's Angels is the merchant adoption. We already started a, a, an adoption com, a campaign on our website. That for any people who can onboard merchants, we will give them Bitcoin Cash as rewards. So for more details, you can go check our website, satoshisangels.com. So this is a, a question I've done a bunch of interviews recently, um, and I've been asking everybody, you know, what what does Bitcoin Cash need? Um, you know, what, because I, I think that, you know, my goal, I, I think that we have all the, the, the potential uh, to you know, to get to number one uh, with on on coin market cap within um, you know a couple of years or so. So, what, do you have any thoughts on what Bitcoin Cash needs to get there? I think we really need a killer application. So far, we we have some popular ones like Red Dot Cash, and I know Noise Dot Cash has also been a. Uh, attraction gaining tensions gaining tractions but i know it's mark that muscle he donated about one thousand dollars to noise dot cash so i i'm not sure if the project can be sustainable we we all you i know all bitcoin cat uh bitcoin cash lovers are using red dot cash but uh in china no other people actually use the platform 
So I think we still haven't got to the killer application yet. Hmm. So how how do we, you know, because I, I noticed in my interactions with the Chinese community, um, a lot of people are only interested in, you know, the number. They are, they're only interested really in the number going up. And the people that, you know, I really want to hear from, people like Jihan, Jiang, Hypo, it's hard. It's really hard to 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 uh, to hear from them sometimes, you know. So how do we get the Chinese community more involved? You know, like how is it is it feasible to onboard the Chinese community to noise that cash? You know, or what what app would be of interest to the Chinese community? Um, you know, one thing is the language gap, because like Electron Cash Wallet and Bitcoin dot com Wallet, we we don't we cannot even download Bitcoin dash Bitcoin dot com Wallet in China, so that's why no people are using it. And the other thing for Electron Cash Wallet, I have some people complain that a they always have bugs and they don't know how to reach to the uh, customer support person. So, and for read.cash, no one is uh, writing in English, so how should, why should they use read.cash? Do you, do you have any idea well, they can how write in this Chinese. project... Okay. But the reason for people want to I'm sorry, what did you say? Use red dot cash. No, the reason for people who want to use red dot cash is that they want to earn these Bitcoin cash tips. So for now, ninety nine percent of the users are foreigners for Chinese people. So they they cannot read Chinese, and they probably will can cannot tip this this person. So I think it's. It lacks some incentives for Chinese people to use these platforms. Hmm. Although there are, uh, there's a, at least one automatic tipping service on Read uh, Cash. Um, you know the, yeah. the 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 ready rewarder or something like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I have gotten tips from that on. Uh, language on Asian languages. I'm not sure about Chinese because I have published a bunch of stuff translated yeah. into into Chinese. Hmm. But I know uh, yeah. many and Chinese I think people. The, are mostly people, people get support from Electron Cash. Many Chinese people are what? Many Chinese people are actually used Noise Dot Cash. Oh really? That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Judge, let me oh, okay. ask you a question. Okay. Do you think Bitcoin Cash will be kicked okay. out of the top ten cryptocurrencies this year? I think uh, there is a big risk of it. Yeah, because people perceive the project as as a little bit falling behind the times you know it's not as hot of a project anymore people are getting excited about things like ave and uh um sushi swap and you know uniswap and things like that so i i think we need to make a big move to um mm -hmm. to to do something exciting uh to you know regain uh some major interest but what do you think Wow, Josh, some people say you are arrogant. I don't think you are not at all. You even know use Uniswap and SushiSwap. That's very good for a Bitcoin cash lover. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've been in the ecosystem since 2011. I mean, I, I, I follow all the projects, so. <laughs> Really good so, for so what you. Do you we, think? we need more marketing. Do you think Bitcoin Cash could fall out of the top well, ten? I think <laughs> it might be. We already see uh, Polkadot, D O T, 
replace the Bitcoin Cash and followed by a uh, link, chain link. The next one might be AAVE and with it, with Uniswap is getting so tractions. I think the next one might be Uniswap to be on a new top 10 coin. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So do you th- Let's see I something mean, positive. Do you think that projects like? <laughs> but do you, do you think these these DeFi projects and these tokens? I mean, Chainlink is just a token, really, isn't it? I mean, do you think that they really they are I... going to be more valuable? No, no, I actually don't think so. I think it's all speculation, just like the. 2020 could be DeFi and 2021 could be the year of NFT. Uh, just like uh, the development team of CryptoKitties now developed a new project called Flow. And the, they developed a game called NBA, uh, NBA Top Shot. It's, it's been really hot and the token mm-hmm. has gone really crazy. It already raised the 100 times. That is a private sale price. So I think it's all short term speculation. It's not sustainable to keep attracting users and providing values. Yeah, I saw a an NFT, a really simple NFT sell recently for 600 Ethereum. And um, mm-hmm. every, I like, everybody was just kind of like, why? You know, and I think that's the moment where that's a clear sign that some kind of bubble is happening. Some kind of irrational exuberance is taking place uh, and and things are about to correct a little bit. You know, that said, I mean, the whole NFT thing is super cool. You know, I mean, it's pretty fun. All that art and stuff on on, uh, a blockchain. Yeah. Have you gotten, have you made any NFTs or, or bought any, or what do you think about those? Uh, I actually have one NFT card and I've been selling it on OpenSea. Uh, but, but it's been two months, no one is buying it. Maybe because I, I charged for two <laughs> Ethereum and now Ethereum price already doubled, so no one is buying that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I remember with CryptoKitties, uh, I I think I got a really low co- cost kitty, and it's it's hanging around there somewhere. I don't know. I haven't looked at CryptoKitties in forever, though. So I still get their email newsletter. Uh, I, but, yeah. uh, I just yeah. wish that the enter so, enter the sphere project ahead. could be out in twenty twenty one, so that bit. Uh, people could learn that Bitcoin Cash can also have the NFT project and get some hype. Hmm. Did you see the the waifu uh, NFTs? Or are those NFTs? I'm not sure. Did you see that? There's a no. somebody set up a a bunch of oh I think it's at waifu faucet. Yeah, waifufaucet.com. And so I don't know if it was maybe JT Freeman or someone like that, but um, they set up a waifu faucet. And so you can uh, enter your SLP address and you can get a waifu, you know, so which is, I mean, it's basically these like anime, uh, Japanese anime girls, you know. Um, So I thought it was, it's pretty cute. You might like it, but though I told people the waifu that I got is not my type, but nobody will trade with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, another thing that I think about sometimes is I would really like to have more communication with, for example, Jang, uh, Hypo. Now, mm-hmm. Hypo kind of uh, followed uh, the, you know, Team ABC a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, where where do you think 
and I think I, I guess maybe Jang, you know, is feeling a little, um, I don't know, you know, cause that was a painful time for all, all of us. I think, where do you think those two guys are now? You know, because I think we definitely want to keep them involved and, and get a sense of, uh, of their thoughts on the future too. Um, I know Jiang is still a big BCH supporter because he has been constantly active in speaking for Bitcoin Cash on his social media. But recently he is more bullish on Ethereum. He actually said that Ethereum's market cap might, might overthrow BTC in 2021. And then in 2026, BCH will overtake BTC. So, you know, before in 2017, <laughs> he, he published that BCH will overtake BTC in 2021. And now it's 2021. He said Ethereum will do, will do that this time. And next time is for BCH is will be, um, will be in 2026. So people is like, Another five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to wait five years. I. I think that if we make the right moves, we can. You know. I mean, I think like I don't know if you saw the documentary I made uh, recently, but Mike Komaransky said you know we should aim to overtake uh, Ripple, and I think that's still a, a good goal. You know, for this mm -hmm. year. What, what do you think? Yeah, I, uh, uh, Ripple is under the re, re investigation of SEC, right? Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, they're, they're, they're in trouble, I think. Yes. So it depends. Will they uh, see some settlements with SEC? If not, then Ripple will be uh, judged as illegal securities. Then it might more exchanges might delist it. Then it we we definitely have a great chance to overtake Ripple. Hmm. Although I, th you know, I think if Ripple is injured and delisted, then maybe it becomes less of an attractive goal. You know. Uh, because yes. it's not it's not it's not as much of a victory to overtake a you know a, a coin that's that's basically dying you know mm -hmm. but I, I you know i think you know watching the movements of the, the just this first month of 2021 okay. it feels like really anything could happen right because some of these coins have doubled um you know in no time like look at the rise of polka dot yeah mm -hmm. it's new technology it's a little exciting. The price is probably a bit low, you know, um, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I just feel like we need something that, you know, can get a lot of people excited about Bitcoin Cash. I'm not, just not sure what yes. it is. I hope it could be the token of bit.com. Uh, anything. I, I find that actually that, you know, because I'm a marketing person, you know, marketing and business, I mean, I have done web development and, and Unix systems administration, but I find that because I'm mostly associated with those things, that actually when I talk to the technical people, you know, to the protocol developers, you know, some of them are nice, but some of them immediately assume I know absolutely nothing, you know? Yes. Do you run into that at all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I think they don't understand that that they need to be able to explain all you know, all of this yeah. stuff at a level mm -hmm. that everybody can understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's another yeah, issue that we have because we, we, we have some very brainy people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we have some we have some very brainy people, you know. Uh mm -hmm. but um not all of them are good 
or not all of them have the patience to explain things, you know, and to communicate a lot. Yeah. You know, how, like you, you're, you're, you're a communicator, you know, you do interviews and things. How, how important do you, th is communication, you know, how important do you think communication is? How do you think we can improve uh, communication in Bitcoin Cash? I think so far we never actually had a platform that can connect to the East and the West community. Like for Reddit, Chinese people don't use it. Reddit Cash, Chinese people don't use it. Twitter, we need to have VPN to across the firework. That's just so crazy. And for you, you use WeChat and then you got kicked out. <laughs> So not nice experience. <laughs> so I, I just someone need no, to like not at all. build build a website, a platform that can connect, really connect to the two communities. So far we, we never actually had that platform. I know mm. in twenty eighteen he had actually sponsored a big uh, a, some great money to fund to create a platform called BCH Club. He actually sponsored really great money, but that project failed. Uh, so now nobody hmm. raised that project again. Why did it fail? Um, one thing is that in 2018, the market becomes bearish. And the other reason is that he and the other co-founder, Mike Rijan, got some into a fight. So I don't think he has much energy oh, and right. time to spend on BCH, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, do you want to do you want to throw in some final words? Tell people how to contact you. Okay. Uh, so thank you for having me, George. Um, I, this is the first time I like you so much. You are not, yeah, you, you are definitely not the guy what I heard from other people. You are a great guy and you look really good. <laughs> so screw them. <laughs> so all Bitcoin Cash bros and sisters, so let's what? keep building in 2021 screw those who bad mouth 100 yeah oh yeah yeah well yeah what can i say i think you're pretty awesome too you know i think you do some great work you're looking good you know so absolutely you know thank you so much cindy uh for this interview it's been really great uh speaking with you and uh, definitely, let's let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. <laughs> yes. All right. Cool.